in our view as South Africa, uh, as we deal with decarbonization, which we're committed to, we're committed to, we're signatory of the Paris Agreement, but we think our transition must have several pathways. It can't be one way. It must be several pathways. That's why in our framework we allow for all technologies. Uh, we don't write off coal either. Our energy is uh, about 80% coal generated. Uh, that is what we must deal with. That's the reality we must face. Uh, number two, we have a little bit of, of nuclear and want to expand that capacity, nuclear capacity as a country because we think nuclear should be part of the green transition because it doesn't pollute. And we also invest in gas. Gas is not as clean as nuclear, it's not as clean as renewables, but at the same time, emissions from gas are half emissions from coal. So as we transition, we must deal with all those issues. Uh, we're making provision for hydro, hydro. We're, we're a water scarce country, but we're neighboring countries with massive water resources. We must deal with hydrogen, green hydrogen, much talked about. Uh, it's a modern uh, source of energy. Almost everybody talks about green hydrogen. It's fine, it must be a com part of the combination. So uh, in our own prayer plan, we are accelerating uh, the implementation of renewables. Uh, we're a, a relatively small country, over 10% is already renewables. We started this in 2011. 6,100 megawatts are from uh, renewables. There is a big chunk of projects that we've authorized that are on the pipeline that will give us additional energy in 2024 forward. But one of the issues that we must ad address in our country is the question of transmission capacity. Uh, because for all the years, transmission was very strong from uh, the, 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 the Mpumalanga province where coal deposits are. Uh, there was nobody who anticipated that there will be time when the massive source of energy will be from the Northern Cape and therefore transmission lines are weak there. Western Cape transmission lines are weak there. Eastern Cape transmission lines are weak there. So as we discuss among ourselves as big, as big countries, we must appreciate the fact that we must help one another, meet the needs, support one another, transition, from high carbon emission to low carbon emission. If we support one another, we will succeed. Russia is here. You see, when you, when you talk about Russia, everybody wants us to talk about Russia-Ukraine conflict. <laughs> it is not the business of this meeting. It is not the business of this meeting. We have strong views on that matter. We are not going to express them here because this is not the meeting for that. We are here to talk about energy. We must find energy solutions uh, in a critical phase of development.